Special counsel Robert Mueller is denying his team illegally got its hands on some of President Trump's transition team emails for the Russia investigation. The president telling reporters yesterday the situation was not looking good. It's uh, quite sad to see that. So my people were very upset about it. Uh, I can't imagine there's anything on him, frankly, because as we said, there's no collusion. There's no collusion whatsoever. But uh, a lot of lawyers thought that was pretty sad. But the president also told reporters he is not planning on firing Mueller. Let's bring in former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski. He is the author of the new book, Let Trump Be Trump. Corey, what do you think about this revelation that they grabbed the emails during the transition team's time? Well, what I think is very surprising is that this president and his team have said that they've been willing and have been cooperating with Bob Mueller and any investigation that they've been involved with. So if Mueller didn't do this the way it should have been done, I'm a little surprised because this team has nothing to hide and they've been very willing and able to turn over all the documents that the Mueller team has requested so far. Mm. I want to ask you about this blockbuster report that started in the Hill about Lisa Bloom, this thing that we kind of, a lot of us suspected, that she was offering money, raising money from donors to pay women to come forward to make accusations against President Trump, and in some cases, offering to pay off one woman's mortgage, also selling the stories to various media outlets, and then taking a commission for herself as media outlets paid these people to come forward and make accusations and offer pictures that this is a money-making scheme for her when she talks about being, you know, a pro bono women's rights lawyer. What do you think about that? Well, the amazing part is that the mainstream media never picked up on this, and if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be talking about it today. And so the bottom line is one of these women was given the opportunity to get $750,000, of which Lisa was going to get one-third of that money or a quarter of a million dollars for working for pro bono. I don't know which world you're from, but $250,000 a year doesn't sound like pro bono to me. Yeah. And the dishonesty of the whole thing, it goes right to her credibility once again, where she time and time again has not been an honest broker, and she's making, she's profiteering yeah. off of people who are lying about the president. And, and it's the dishonesty and the profiteering. I don't think that a lot of people out there understand Stand, you know, normally you would make money when your client won and got damages and you get a percent of that. That makes sense. But this is about raising undercover money to, to funnel to these people just for making the accusation and then also making money from media outlets. And that's not something that she's above board about or, or in other lawyers who do the same thing. Well, she's never disclosed it. There is a lot of speculation that the money that was coming was from Democrat super PACs and super donors to the Democratic Party to try and hurt the election of Donald Trump for president. And what we know is that she has now been making money off of these women. She's asking them to lie to the American people. The mainstream media hasn't done a good job of vetting them. They were yes. so excited about these women coming forward, okay. most of the mainstream media. That's what happened. We, we don't know if she's asking them to lie. We do know that she's making money off everything they're doing and getting money from donors. It is very shady. Corey Lewandowski, thank you for your time. Appreciate it.